players from Cordova, Wasting, and DK Lugia. I want to thank our sponsor, Mob Crush, for helping make this season possible. My name is Toxic Gerbil, and I'm joined today by Navak. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Uh, we are going to be getting into this match on Battlefield as the first match, as the bands went. So we do know that Battlefield. Yeah, it's going to be not Battlefield. That's not Pokemon Stadium Two. That, that is not Pokemon Stadium Two. Pokemon Stadium like Two was banned. Bands, no one bans Pokemon Stadium I, it Two. It was banned. Oh, your microphone is. They're not real. Your microphone players, is having some issues. Oh no! That was very loud. Oh no! Is this better at all? Uh, yes. Okay. It does that every once in a while, and I really hate it, and I need a new one. And so we are if it happens be... again, tell me, and I'll just like unplug my mic for a bit. Okie dokes, and we are going to be getting into the match now. So... Alright, yeah. So we're getting into it. It's a Link played by Wasting versus Lina's Corrin. Two people with uh, big swords and some solid projectiles going to be spacing at each other. Yeah, that's definitely what's going to be happening here. As we see, uh, Lugia just throwing out the neutral bees. One of them actually connecting pretty full charge. But, uh, he is eating some projectiles himself at the percent disadvantage out the gate, but not that big of a disadvantage, so. It's still fairly even, but a couple more here arrows will build up the percent. As the bomb starts to put Wasting really ahead of Lugia here, his first stock. Yeah, no, a lot of damage coming out from Wasting. Again, another Link this time, not a young Link. It's I, I think out of all of the Links, most people agree that Mature Link is probably the weakest. The weakest, really? Dude. I thought people thought Toon Link was the weakest. I, and there's like a big argument going around between Young Link and Mature Link. I definitely think Mature Link plays the most different out of all of them, though. Yeah, no, I, def sure. I definitely agree with To set off your bombs whenever you want is a huge playstyle difference, right? Because you can set up so much more. And I'd, I'd say he's easier in that sense because your precision timing doesn't have to be as precise. Because, again, look, you can use the up B there. Or, the, sorry, the up A to, um, to move the bomb around as well and then set it off once yeah. you're on the last hit. Just get that extra chunk of damage. Yeah, I do think the bomb actually makes Link, this Link, one of the harder ones because you have so many bomb setups you need to know how to do. And you can't just throw the bomb at them and then it explodes automatically when it hits. Right. Uh, but you, you can always throw it out and then just explode it when you want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. And that's going to be the first stock yeah. going there. They were both up into the 130s. Yeah, Lugia definitely still at kill percent, wasting can and does. Oh, wow. Never mind. Lugia. Barely, surviving barely there, the not being looking for. Bob I believe that was looking to counter it with the down B, and then just completely yeah, mistimed it and hit neutral. Yeah, but anyway, the stocks are pretty tied up again. The percents are fairly even. The insta pin dealing around twenty percent. Yeah, and like you were saying, forward smash from wasting, bringing it pretty back to close. Again, the counters coming out from Lugia there, looking to try and just carry the bomb out, but then putting yourself in a lot of recovery rate frames for Link to follow up on. Yeah, a lot of counters coming out from Lugia, but a lot of random smashes coming out from Wasting, but yeah, Lugia just drifts to... straight into it and gets punished. So maybe Lugia thought Wasting would time it to beat a counter. So there are some really deep mind games going on when Lugia has been using so many counters, but... Wasting getting the better of him in that scenario gives him a lead, but not a huge one as Wasting is definitely solidly in kill percent, and Lugia is still low percent, only one stock down. Yeah, and again, managing just to keep pretty much everything going on here. Managing to keep the ability of just, again, Wasting just not being able to find Kilter, just as I was going to say that, sorry. I was mildly distracted there with some production things, but Lugia, or Wasting not being able to find the or Lugia not being able to find the kill on Wasting Kid. Oh, there it is. Okay. But that will be it. Yeah, yeah. that will be it. Cast is cursed. Not taking percent on this third stock, actually, despite how long Wasting had that stock advantage, he wasn't able to find like any hits onto Lugia, and Lugia was able to bring it back to a basically even game here, only down what 23 percent now. Yeah, no, 23, 23 percent, pretty much exactly here. Again, the projectile spam that Link has the access to to zone out a character is so strong. Even with Corrin's like couple of projectiles and the gap closes that she has with that pin, 
it's it's yeah. still hard to get in on it. Although the percent lead is building now. Uh, Lugia all the way up to 81. Wasting getting a nice that. block there, not setting off the bomb yeah. immediately. Not setting it off there either, maybe just not confident in his bomb setups. Yeah, he uh, definitely would have hit. still in lag from the F tilt, or from the F smash, not be able to set up the bomb. I don't know, but... Definitely an interesting choice. It would be unfortunate if the lag I do like the bomb on that winning. platform, though. Yeah? No, it... It seems like a good place to have it, so you can knock them into it very easily. Yeah, or on either side, it's just... I, I think bomb is very good on Battlefield, or Mature Link's bomb, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, specifically that the the C4 bomb. Yeah, if if Not you will. Not confused with the C4 C4. <laughs> so many explosive projectiles in this game. It's yeah. hard to name all of them. Yeah, especially when you have Snake, and that's going to be round one, going to wasting that with just yeah, just the raw side smash. Yeah, just thrown out neutral. You know, sometimes it hits, and most of the time you don't get punished too hard because your opponent's not expecting it. They don't, they don't have it in their head to react, and especially in any Wi-Fi lag type scenario, it's surprisingly hard to beat the random smashes coming out. Yeah. So that was game one, going over to wasting on the adult link. So now we're going to do picks and bans, select a stage two. Uh, probably not a three set series all in the same stage this time, because we didn't start Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, <laughs> that yeah, is something I'm really glad about. Yeah, I, I swear, Pokemon Stadium 2 has been played more in competitive play than every other stage combined. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good neutral stage. Go there. It's a good it's neutral not. stage. It's it so is. It's so good for campy characters. Yeah, I mean, it's so, so, so's any map. So is any map. <laughs> Camping characters are just OP in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they that's what we're going map, with. Right? Take them to WarioWare. That's the counter. There you go. There's the true counter pick map. Yeah. WarioWare and Castle Siege. The stage list. God no. That's that's what you want to see. To be honest. We need some small stages, but uh, those ain't it, Chief. You don't think so? I don't think it's Castle Siege, and I don't think it's WarioWare. I could see a WarioWare argument, but it's definitely not Castle Siege. Have you ever played P against a Pichu on Castle Siege? He just crouches at the bottom of the slope. You can't space aerials against him. There's You can't hit him. Oh. It's ridiculous. So like That slope is just so bad for so many characters. It's so good for so many other ones. It's so polarizing. Three, two, one. As we go to Kalos, a beautiful stage. Beautiful. I love Kalos. Yeah, it is for, definitely uh, one of the prettiest stages in the game, I think. For uh, for game two. So how do you feel about Kalos for campy, uh, camping characters? Uh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah? It's a really big stage. And Link can just shoot arrows all the way across it. Yeah? Lukia rolls three times to get in range, and then... Wasting just goes back and throws some arrows. Despite that, he is at the percent disadvantage because of the only hits that he got on him. And is continuing to get here. 60% to about 20. And interestingly enough, this would have been Lugia's pick. Wasting's yeah, won been. the last game. So, you'd yeah. think he'd go for a shorter map. Yeah, especially if you're like a... Like, Lugia, like I know Link has a sword, but I wouldn't call him like a swordy. You know what I'm no, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, is a, like, he is a oh, man of many smash. tools. Very closely killing Lugia there, but Swordy is really like yeah, the there gonna come back. spaces where it's just so hard for the enemy to get in because you can put a sword everywhere. I mean, I guess if you're thinking, <laughs> I guess if you're thinking in terms of the bomb, can't really platform and like cut off a bunch of the map on yeah. Kalos, but that, yeah, that, that's the definitely... only benefit I'm seeing for picking the map. Yeah, I don't know. I think the Kalos pick. I could see why you might want to pick it, but I don't think it's that correct for Lugi to pick it here. Uh, as he is at losing, he's at 163%, solidly in kill percent of basically anything Link can do, including that bomb. Just the bomb. Yeah. Lots of, no lots of knockback uh, multiplier on the bomb. Yeah, it's, I think it it's definitely a will kill. I don't know. You can ask Kuragani Hammer, I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, wasting at 110. 
definitely in danger of dying to some of Corrin's better kill moves, but she doesn't have that many just random moves that will straight up kill you. And again, uh, no like aerials that'll just throw away your. Corrin's pin and like uh, dash pick up uh, yeah. Mature Link's bomb. So if he just sets yeah. it up in the middle of the map and she tries to make a play for it, just set off the bomb. A bomb yeah, into a bomb. So Are we going to see another bomb? We're not. Oh, there's the <laughs> pin. The bomb into bomb setup is always impressive. Yeah. While we were talking, Wasting has almost lapped Lugia here. Lugia up to 97. As just like we said, uh, he's getting kind of camped out by these bombs and arrows here. Oh, there we go. The pin killing it. Okay. But yeah, so like we were saying, space will this will take it, but still. Kalos is a fant absolutely fantastic map for any projectile based Zona character. Yeah, so... you don't even have platforms to help yourself get around them. No. You can only run and jump. You, I mean, I guess you could sit on a platform, but stalling yeah, is not uh, it's not allowed. Just, uh, lose center stage. It's not even that much better. Yeah. Just get poked out from middle. Lugia just having such a hard time getting in on wasting, throwing out projectiles, but just not beating wasting's projectile game, and not really finding the aerial approaches either. Yeah, Lugia does have, of course that rage activated so they are doing extra damage in the case and we do see wasting As wasting just sds just not holding into the stage he... the whole time means he doesn't get enough aerial drift and he's just too far away yeah now luke is in the lead pretty good, getting 50 percent following the sd not getting hit himself it's pretty strongly in his in lugia's favor now uh wasting really just throwing away an incredibly healthy stock that he just had such a solid lead on. Yeah, 70% to Lugia's like 140 at the time is still an yeah. incredible lead. Yeah, as Wasting just taking more and more percent, not able to finish off the stock from Lugia up to right. 70, as the forward smash will take it. But now that now, now the lead is completely switched, like we were saying, right? Now ha Wasting yeah. is down or up Almost 70%. Exactly the not to say that a 70% comeback is not possible. If you look at the first stock. I don't know, 111 is a lot harder. 111 is looking a lot harder. Uh, wasting. Got a lot of success from throwing bombs. And I don't know if he thinks Luki's adapted. Or if he's just really thinking, like, I have to end this nap. But he's definitely approaching a lot more than when he was finding success and getting that percent on Lugia. Yeah, all Lugia has to do now is hit, hit a pin. Yep. Yeah. As that insta pin will take it. And that's going to take Lugia, us to game three. It will indeed. Lugia ties up the set, taking us into game three. Again, that was so unfortunate for wasting. Yeah, incredibly unfortunate. Just not holding into the stage the whole time. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he was trying to space it so he could sweet spot the uppy to the ledge. Um, but he just did not have the height to make it back on his recovery. And yeah. he ended up losing the game for that. He got Lugia to the last stock, and you have to think, if if Wasting had been able to close out that stock normally, I don't think he would have lost that one. No. Again, that was just so unfortunate. But it brings us into a game three now in a 1-1 situation, so the actual... There's a bit of actual pressure from both players, of course, and both being from the same school as well. One junior and one senior from... Yeah, someone's going to walk into school tomorrow and the other guy's going to be rubbing it in. Especially if know. the junior wins. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to know. Yeah. yeah. So... Looks like they've selected their stages and we're going to be going into game three any second here. No character swaps. Stick into their mains. Yeah. I mean, it's it's 1-1, one, one, right? It's very close. Yeah, it's very close, yeah. All the games are pretty close. Now it's Wasting's matter. pick as well. So he picks... Uh, Fountain of Dreams. Fountain. I actually thought we removed this from the stage list, but if they agreed to go here, they agreed to go here. Uh, this stage, of course, known for causing some lag. Uh, it does It's not always very noticeable, but when it is, it really feels bad. So yeah. we'll have to see if that... At the moment, it's not... It's not looking like it's causing too much lag from a visual, because sometimes it causes micro stutter on spectator clients. Yeah. So we're not. I'm not seeing any of that at least. No, I don't think any. I don't think so. And uh, when it's not lagging, it really is a beautiful stage. So. Yes. Yeah, we were talking about Kalos being pretty, but there is so much going on in the terms of particles, and your microphone is doing it once again. Ah. <laughs> 
Sorry, folk, bit of a technical issue there with Gerbil's microphone. But getting into this game right now, almost immediately, right? They're both in the high percentiles. Lugia at 110. Going to be extremely cautious of what he's going to try and run into. The boomerang is going to hit. Now, if a bomb hits him, Lugia's dead. Is this anybody? <laughs> Hello? Is Hello. This anybody? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. All right, good. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I was just... Yeah, so... Yeah. Both I was players are pretty high percentile. Lugia a little higher. Yeah. About into kill percent range. Uh... Yeah, wasting maybe 30-40% in uh, away, but... Yeah, wasting just very... went there for that raw um, s uh, forward smash. And yeah, a did lot get of punished. raw yeah. coming out from did, wasting. Did get punished for it this time around. Mm -hmm. And the follow-up there with the up air from Lugia managing to get a lot of damage in. Now they're both completely in kill percentiles. Yeah. Almost dead even. Only 10% when both players are already in kill percent separating them means there's virtually no difference. It's really just whoever gets that first solid hit is yeah. going to... Um, one smash, one, one down there yeah. from Lugia yeah. will kill. Yeah, with Lugia this high into the percents, a lot of, the, like, almost anything from Link will kill now. Whereas uh, Lugia on the Corrin is going to need to get one of the more solid hits like the pin or the neutral B. Oh, that pin that almost just hit there. The, the SD oh, does happen, though. Unfortunately, SDing the, by up being the wrong way. However, when you're already at 162 on your stock, you really can't beat yourself that hard about it, right? I don't know. You like, still because you're in rage at 160, right? So you're doing more damage, and you have a high. Yes. So you are doing. I guess. But like. So so it does it does hinder you a little bit, and it's also going to let wasting get some of that extra yeah. credit into onto Lugia. So... Yeah, no, it's definitely a it's definitely a sad SD, as all SDs are. But yes. uh, you're not as sad about the one sixty percent SD as maybe some other. As, as much as the zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if so, if Lugia, Lugia has if Lugia can wasting find the kill, off stage only thirty seven percent on it. Yeah, if Lugia can find the kill within like the next couple percentile before yeah. he goes Lugia up. Lugia is really fishing oh. for it. Charging multiple F smashes, random or up smashes, random counters. Lugia already at 81%, just not able to find that solid hit, yeah. not able to find any confirms, just really fishing and throwing out kill moves, but wasting not giving it to him and already up 100%. Lugia already just almost into kill percent on his next stock because he cannot find that strong hit onto wasting. Basically, anything will do it. And like he just that. gets desperate and jumps into that up smash. Now, all of a sudden, wasting up a full stock over Lugia. I mean, a full two stocks. Oh, well, okay, now a full yeah. stock. Yeah, now a full stock. Yeah, I was not too confident that first <laughs> one would last that much longer. Yeah, and again, a lot like Battlefield, wasting has a lot of room here with the bomb to just zone things out. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of zoning, but also a lot more options for Corrin to get in. It's a smaller stage than Kalos. Um, and the platforms give different approach angles potentially, but on the flip side, Link's Up Smash has been doing a really fantastic job of covering those platforms this game. A lot of them have been hitting, including the one that killed for last stock. You can see Wasting really just fishing onto the platforms whenever Lukia is above him. Go, just going for them repeatedly. And Lukia, with the down airs, seems to be kind of wanting to give them to Wasting, so... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Let's we'll see if that is what takes it. A lot of just projectiles and smashes in neutral. Luki walking into another one, not able to punish the up B. They're trying to space the F till tipper, but just out of range for it. Yeah, 144 here, Lugia has to play so conservatively, right? One here, and Lugia is out of really this game. Really a solid combo to death. Followed there by it is. Here to death. The up tilt from Wasting will let him take the set 2-1, to one, closing it out over Lugia. A pretty well-played match from both players. Some unfortunate SDs in the second and third game, but when they were when they were playing well, they were definitely getting solid hits on each other, making reads, getting combos, uh, spacing well, just solid gameplay um, from both sides. But wasting is able to take it in the end. Yeah, and that is of course going to be game three. And again. Just like a bit earlier today, right? These matches are close, and it always seems yeah, to be... I, I think each week that this goes on, this will be getting closer and closer with players just learning to play against each other more and more, and I look mm -hmm. forward to like the playoffs and finals. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> looking forward to the playoffs and finals. Um, 
not to give too many spoilers, but uh, there's actually two players in the bracket that are uh, PR and power ranked in their local region, meaning that they're going like actual like tournaments in their local region and they're getting wins. So there's definitely potentially some really high level matches coming up later in, in the season and potentially during playoffs. And for these players to be able to get practice in these serious sets against those players could be really good for um, for their own development, even if they're not at that PR level yet. Yeah, no, 100%. So uh, with game two wrapped up, with game three wrapped up here and wasting taking the set, I think it's about time to sign off. So thank you for tuning in to the Alaska region match of EGFH season three with uh, wasting taking it over uh, Lugia. You can follow us at official EGF on Twitter and Twitch for updates and announcements. I'd w- like to once again thank our sponsor Mob Crush for helping make this season possible. I'm Toxic Gerbil. You can find me on Twitter at Toxic underscore Gerbil. And, and I'm my Navit Casts. partner here is Cass. Yeah, and I'm Navit Casts, and you can find me at Navit Casts on Twitter, as it says on the screen, for myself and Gerbil. And we'll be seeing you next week for the east coast match that we're going to be streaming coming up yeah next week i guess and of course we have yeah and we have rocket league tomorrow (laughs) and on thursday overwatch and on friday Fortnite. so yeah so thank you for coming make sure to tune back in yeah and support high school esports yeah 100